Hey everybody, it's Three Lawton here. Do I have a good video for you today? The cooking show is back, and I'm gonna be making a special meal for somebody who might be getting out. Or it's a, a Super Bowl Sunday morning, we wanna do this meal for a bunch of guys. This is a special meal we would set up and do for specific people. The guys just even like to watch this one happen. So, this is gonna be how you really can cook a breakfast in prison with makeshift everything. Before I get started, please check me out on YouTube member programs, Discord, Patreon. Please check my merch out. Merch is the shirt. My book, Gangster Redemption, is doing very well. You can buy my book in any uh, video link, and it's only $19.95. People have called me and said, Larry, it's $100 online. That is people doing that, and that's why I have the book. And a special announcement on the book, in about 90 days, my prison cooking book will be coming out. And we're going to do pre-orders in about 30 days. Now, also, cook your diamond cigar. Have to do it. Great cigar, people. And I mean that. It's something I'm going to smoke now. Yes, we did smoke in prison. Uh, when I first went into prison in 1996, there was smoke. And they smoked the Nable cigars with a couple of the wise guys and mobsters. Nicky Scarfo, Vicarita, we'd be walking the track and, and smoking cigars. So yes, we did do that. So I am going to do that as well. Now, you're going to learn how we really did things in prison. First thing is we do, people, is we're going to make our own grill. Now, you'll see a lot of things on the internet and how they do it. I'm going to show you how the pros did it. Yes, they would take a bed, they put burners underneath them. Ruin the whole bed. Obviously, there's a lot of paint in that stuff. What we would do is we would get the iron. You have to check the iron out from the guard. I need the iron. Usually, it's a weekend anyway. It's no. Listen, nobody gave a shit. Anybody who's going to visit has already got this stuff done the night before. You're not doing it in the morning. Most people do it the night before and they get ready. They're all excited for a visit. They don't need the iron. We need the iron to set up like this. Here's how we did it. Now, we had an iron that had actually was a little square at top, but we did the same thing. We put two shampoo bottles right here, make them so it's level. We actually look and make sure the iron is as level as you can get, meaning it's not going to move, it's not going to do anything. We tape it down. In one prison in uh, Jessa, what we did is we actually got a bungee cord. It wasn't one of those ones you see in a store. And we put it from, there was a long, long table. And what we would do is we'd put it around under the table and into itself, and that would hold the iron down. You want to make sure the iron is secure. Now, what do you do from there? You get a drake. Usually prison mooch, but I'm not doing prison mooch today. I'm doing some Tito's vodka and Tito's of ginger ale. What a way to wake up in the morning and do your eggs and bacon, and, and uh, not a baby, eggs, pepperoni, and your little dish. Okay, what next? You got yourself down, you get your ingredients. The first thing you do is, first of all, with all of us, one guy or another had one of these. All this is, is the bottom of a locker. This is the actual, pretty much the size, and we get the bottom of the locker, we get sandpaper, we make this thing perfect, just like this. And all it is, is a piece of metal. And that would be out of the grill. Now, what we do from there, is we make sure we have all the ingredients we need. Well, what do you need for this? You need eggs, you need cheese, you need an onion, you need uh, garlic, you need cheese and bread and everything else. Well, we got them here. Well, like I did in one of the last videos, this is a cutter and it is kept. This is a dicer, dicer, and this is exactly how you do it. And you cut your onion up, which I did earlier, and the garlic, I didn't use one of these, some people did. I use this. I use a razor. Now, how do you get a razor? You actually, whatever book you have, we get the razor out of the razor itself, and then we would actually keep the razor like this. Use it, and when I can't find it, that's always good. That means I'm doing it right. Now, as you can see, right here, is the raisin. Now I would take this razor, use it, put the book down, and then do my chopping of garlic. 
I remember spending hours and hours and hours of actually dicing garlic. The whole unit would smell, and everyone would oh, Lon's cooking. Yeah, Lon became a pretty good cook. So now, everything is cut, everything is ready. You buy the bread, you, this four slices of bread used to cost 50 cents or two stamps. It would be a stamp for two slices. You say, now I can imagine what it is. And it always it will come in either a cellophane wrap or a tinfoil wrap because these guys from the kitchen steal it. So here they are. This is your bread. And believe me, everybody bought bread. The reason you bought bread is because you can get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can get tuna fish with mayonnaise and put it on a sandwich. And boy, I'll tell you what, that, that's what survival is all about. Then you buy your cheese. Cheese at prison comes in big blocks. We would actually get a guy to steal a whole block or a half of a big block. And now, of course, and it depends on, it could be $5, it could be a book of stamps, it could be two books of stamps, depending on how much cheese it is. And then it becomes, and you wrap it up. The best thing to do in prison, though, is you don't keep all this stuff. You dole it out. You give one to your friend, you give this guy. When I kept pasta, I used to buy 40 pounds of pasta. And I would keep 10 pounds over here, 10 pounds over there. So now, you have your cheese ready to go. These are for my ready to go. I have olive oil, which we would get sometimes on the uh, on the commissary. They'd sell olive oil. We have our eggs. Eggs used to cost uh, a stamp per egg. Depending on how hard they were to get, they could be two stamps per egg. I bought pepperoni right off of the commissary. And I love pepperoni. You sold pepper packets or you sold pepper shakers. You have whatever you want. Now you're ready to go. Got your iron set up. You have your shampoo bottles. Everything's straight. You're looking good. First thing you do is you take this and you turn your iron on. Now, believe it or not, that will take very quick time and it will heat up. And it's amazing. You can feel it get warm already. Now my, my grill is actually getting hot. It's going to be get hot. People are going to be coming by. We're already bullshitting in the morning. They had, is this a weekend? They have what they call 10 o'clock count. Well, come 10 o'clock count, the guards are coming around. So we would either do it before 10 o'clock count or after 10 o'clock. Just in case you got an asshole guard that said, what are you guys doing all that shit? There's too much contraband there. Well, I'll tell you what. Fuck that. You know, some of the guards, the masses, the guys, they did want in on the meal. And that's what they'd want. So... Now, my grill is getting better. Now, since it was count time, we would do this. Ooh, it's getting half quick. Your first thing you do is you get ready, because once you got it, people bring their bowls. The old big bowl on school, and everybody has to have a bowl. You live, and, you live and die with your bowls in prison. Believe it or not, people do that. Now, while that's getting hot, I'm going to put my grill onto right here. Now you put it easy, and it's pretty much uh, right there, and you get you feel it already. Well, while that's going on, I'm gonna take my eggs. Since I'm gonna be making an omelet, I'm gonna dump three eggs into my bowl. Now remember, these eggs cost me. This meal is not an expensive meal. We're gonna put it up right here. A uh, lot of stamps, stamps. And what a stamp people. Of course, we only had plastic. We did not have metal. Anything, definitely. So I'm just getting this all ready. So now I am sit here ready. Woo! Get hot, people. And here's the good thing about this kind of metal. Now, you, we always had our face cloth or our uh, uh, towels. And that's for this. Because... Until you get used to your, how your iron or the iron in your unit worked, uh, some of them are flat, believe it or not. Someone threw one and it had it embedded in it and they don't give a shit. So it's not even a flat iron and it's tough because I'm pissed that somebody fucked down damn uh, cooking stuff up. Instead of doing all this on a bone, we did it this way. Now I'm feeling this and it is getting hot, people, and I'm loving it. And that time, we're hanging out, we're bullshitting, and uh, everybody's telling stories. And I, I heard some great stories from bank robbers and armored car guys. And, dog, yes, 
I did smoke, and I didn't give a fuck. Someone said, you shouldn't smoke in a kitchen. Fuck you. This is not a, a, a regulated restaurant. Oh, it's getting hot. Now that's going. I am ready to go to make my meal. First thing I do is I got my eggs all ready. As you can see, it's just eggs. And this is really a good meal, people, because this has got protein, cheese, and I'll fill you up, and you feel like you're at you, you literally feel like you're on the street for a minute. I mean, you know, you start camaraderie, you know. Who doesn't like to go to breakfast with their friends? They do. I would always take this. I would take a little bit of olive oil, and we used to keep another rag. It's kind of like a rag, and just push it around. It's kind of making your, 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 your hand. Look what I'm doing. I'm holding it here now. Now, I won't be able to do that later, so I'm going to have a, uh, a a towel to do that. Now, this will stay hot, and it gets hotter and hotter, the heater. Yeah, I don't know how the hot on this iron works, so we will uh, test that. We didn't have such great irons, I'll tell you that, people. So it wasn't like, oh, why ain't that got a great iron? No, that is not what happened. We had one iron, it gives it on and off. I don't know what these irons have today. Now, what I'm going to do is wait till this gets a little bit hotter, and it will. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I do. I begin my cell. We had, like, uh, plastic chairs. Uh, they're not like this, but we would sit back. We'd all bullshit, smoke a cigar. Some guys would smoke the cigarettes back then, and we would just hang out. We'd wait for our world. Now, what happens when you're seeing this is it's the anticipation of everything. Everything we're doing is anticipation. Listen, part of what we do in prison is part of a, uh, how do I say this? It's the ritual. It's, you know, it took us, it took me hours to make meals on, on Fridays when I made pasta meal. I didn't care. I'd take four, three, four hours just cutting a ball because I'm cutting a bowl after bowl after bowl with this, a razor. And that's what I'm doing. It's getting hot. Okay. At least we know it's, it is hot. And I don't know this iron and how this iron works, but I'll tell you what, I'm not worried about it. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to enjoy the food and I'm going to enjoy showing you how to make an omelet right here in your cell in prison. Look at what I have, everybody. Everything is very easily gettable right in prison. We are not talking about going to get some uh, items that you, you could never get. It'd be unrealistic from the food to the, to the bottom of a locker that's been uh, sanded down or an iron that we borrow. Uh, just like when we made the wine, we would take the hose off the, off the washer and dryer as a sight of the hose. We would do that. Well, it's just, it's a newer piece of, ooh, it's get that. Yes, it takes a little bit. This piece of steel we have is just a little thicker than the steel we had in prison. Uh, but these are just like the bottom of a lot mode. And that's, you know, listen, we used to take them out. You know, and they're all just welded in there. And those welds pop. And we have a guy come in, you know, who worked in what they call CMS. He'd come in, he'd heat them, pop them. We did so many things in there. And that's actually, guys, how we used to make shanks. We used to take the metal out and and make make steel shanks and sharpen them on the yard. I said, I showed that video. If you have not seen that video, check that video. So I am going to end up putting a few of these just on the grill. And here's the best part when I put stuff on the grill. I don't, I'm not worried about it. Meaning, eh, what are you going to do? This is what we did. And this guy who gets his meals at me, man. Now remember, we don't have plates per se. We have bowls. We all had bowl. Your bowl was like big time in prison, man. Big time. So you're sitting here and you just put your stuff down. And you know, it's kind of fun because I'm going to actually put the, uh, the, uh, the eggs in the middle. Woo! Yeah, I had a people get, man. I'm loving it. Really have. You guys know I do eat this stuff. You can ask Rude Jubit, baby, because Larry, you'll eat anything. You're damn right I will. Uh, I didn't come from that uh, spoiled upbringing, you know what I mean? Not this guy. Grills get a little bit hotter. Uh, obviously, it's going to go good. Now, watch what I got to do here. 
I'm holding this thing because I don't know the level of this. But you want it where it cooks. Pretty level. Good job, Nick. You can hear it. You can literally hear it. Now look what I'm doing. For the leveling purposes, I am doing this. It's pretty level, actually, uh, when we put this thing together. Now look, it's starting to go. Look, see it? Once it starts going a little bit, everybody, this is going to be a hell of a meal. I'm actually keeping clean, guys, so far. We're seeing how that goes, but we're doing pretty good here. So it's cooking. Obviously, I might have let it go a little longer, but that's okay. We're here having fun, and it's time for another drink. Look at it. You can see the smoke coming up. You can see it right now uh, starting to, uh, you know, hang it, I call it. See it? Look at this. See, I was the kind of guy at this time I do this. I take my chopped up onion, some in there. I'm a garlic lover, so there's a lot of garlic right there. And I would do that. And now I'm literally going to let it cook. I'm not putting my cheese, you noticed yet. I'm not putting my cheese yet. I have a concentration of heat, but this whole grill will get hot. This whole grill will get really, really hot. Look at it. It's starting to. Uh, what do you call it, like collage or whatever they call that stuff, you know, where it gets becoming an egg and cooked egg, yeah. So it's still right now, it's what I love. Now, remember, you have guys who are walking by yourself, hey, you thought money, oh, man, I don't want some of that. Yeah, well, you're not it. Uh, go cook yourself. Now, other guys would pick up what we learned. I learned in this from another inmate. And in my book, I'm going to explain where I learned these restaurants, what happened, fights, standings, all the food. So that book is going to be a really good book, a cookbook by Larry Lewis. And I have about eight, I think eight or nine recipes and uh, it's it's been worked on. It's great. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Let that cool down. Keep it that cool. Let it keep going. I'm double checking. Iron Skittle is pretty good. And you are looking at a man who owns a restaurant. Listen, I could be a Denny's cook anytime I want. I love Denny's. I could be a Denny's cook. I love breakfast. One of my best meals. Oh, a drink. Nah, I'm not a really kid. I don't drink really that early. It's actually a little late. Mm -hmm. Here we are. In a cell, smoking a cigar, having a drink, you know, and I want to give a shout out, you know, I got my buddy Rude Jude, great guy, Sirius XM 45, Shade 45, Jude and I were talking and, and we're redoing a video he did with us because it got crazy. And you're gonna see the ending. We have, we were calling it lost footage already. It's footage that's gonna be coming back out. That's gonna be great. Now look at this omelet, guys. Look at what's kind of happening here. Yes, so I know what you're thinking. Wow, what happens if you get your your uh, cigar in there? I still eat it. Are you kidding me? Dirt doesn't hurt you. This isn't the best. So I know Rude Jude saying, damn, I wish I was at Larry's. Is he like, but he knows I'll eat anything too. Doing real well as a good friend. Shout out to his girl too. He had a new girl. He's doing well. Just talk to him. Having fun. All right. Here we go. Now what I'm going to do, I have my both cheese. Take a few slices. Now remember how this works is everybody, everybody ships in. Hey, I'll bring the cheese. Hey, I'll do this. Truth of the matter is I ended up buying a lot of stuff anyway. It's like, you know, kind of on the street here. And then I love the cheese. So I'm doing that. So, cause I like cheesy eggs. I don't know if you do or no. And, uh, and you know, the olive oil is what was the, uh, the kicker on this one. And now it's going to let cook. There's one thing food is everybody. 
it brings people together. You know, when I started the cooking show, and I love to, I'm not a big cooker per se, but I am a communicator. I am a person who loves camaraderie. I love friendships. And this is all about friendships and everything here. And look, as I put, because I put the uh, olive oil down, it's not sticking. Look at that. See that, guys? Look at this meal. Oh, this is called fucking good shit. Let Gordon Ramsay try this shit. You know, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be doing a cooking uh, thing with JD Daily and Ian Medic. Uh, going up to do some content with them. And we're going to be doing a cooking show. And we're going to be telling a lot of good things. How time works from long time to old to young. We're going to have a lot of fun. Now look at this. If this doesn't make your mouth water, nothing would. Now, mind you everybody. Larry never worried about what it looked like. Larry worried about what it tasted like. Remember, this is about, this is about this is about cooking and tasting. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like. I happen to, does any answer? Nah, I don't know about it. Nobody would know anyway. Trust me, how many eat today? You know, what people don't understand is when you get stuff like this, this is just the best of the best. Look at that. I'm loving this. I want to let it cook good because I like cooked food. All right. I'm also going to do this now, guys. What I would do afterwards. See, I have my bread. Usually a two slicer. You could put it. Look at this. It's cupping good. Wow. That's not good, everybody. Look at it. This is getting me hungry. And you know why this is so important? When we're done with the meal, everything goes back. You take the iron, you give it back to the guard. You take your piece of metal, put it in the bottom of your locker. Clothes are on it. Everything. You clean it good. On. Everything is back in the lock. Everything. Is, yeah, they might tax me with bread. You think I gave a shit about that? Big deal. So they got me 50 cents with the bread. Well, this is what I call food, people. Wow. Now, somebody like me says I'm eating. Now, I might split with Nick, but I'm going to salt it down a little bit. Got to salt your eggs. Of course, we have I love pepper. Hides anything in there that's, you know, maybe you got the roach turds or something in there or whatever the hell is in there. I love pepper. See that? Oh, man, I love it. Doesn't get better than this, people. Now, this would actually be a meal for two. I mean, you wouldn't be picked. Me? No, it's me. Uh, I was always a fat fuck, and I love food. Now, I did add another egg in that, and add a little more uh, onion, a little more cheese, another slice, and it gets a little bigger. And this plate will get hot totally eventually on these grills. Uh, now, again, you might see something on the internet with guys putting the burners. Now, burners are different underneath the bunks and the flame burner. We did this because... In two seconds, the guards come in. We see them come in the unit. We see seven guards come in the unit. We know they're coming shooting down. Boom, put it in my bowl, close my bowl, take this thing, wipe it down, put it back. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. They heard, oh, lawn's cooking. I've been thrown in a hole for this stuff. I know it's crazy. Gotta eat. Now look, oh, that's fucking good. It's raw eggs. You're eating not raw. You're eating raw eggs. They're not raw. Basically. Not raw. The fucking cook, brother. You can eat it with me. You gotta eat it. Nick. I'm not there. Nick, please. Water the show. I don't eat eggs. No. Nick. I'm not there. Water the show. No. You're gonna refuse? Yes. I gotta fly you online. Yeah. I'm not there. Come on, you gotta fucking take it. eat weak old chicken. I can't take your word for this. Nick. You gotta like. All the three-wing old onions. All on pity sides. 
you eat expired food. You can't kick it. Work it. This is prison. As you can see, everybody, look at that. It's it's actually sticking on my pan. Uh, again, this is a little bit, you know, this is a little bit too thick. But now, mind you, we or we can. So if you're thinking we're going to like a, a major restaurant like Dijon's over here in Brevard County for a, that, no, we're not. But look at it. I love my egg just like this. And not hard, and although I kind of crap they make them. You make the eggs where they it's still do eggs. And it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Now, I would put my toast on. Everybody, breakfast. This to me is breakfast of the champions. This is a special meal because the dude's going home. Or, I don't know, he got married. Yeah, I know. Uh, or something happened in the prison. Maybe he got a really sentence reduction. So we're celebrating his meal. I have guards that will be coming on this show. My good friend Gary Massey. He knows what we're doing. Gary's been around and I taught him how to make prison pasta. Here we go. I think we're done. I would tell the guy, hey, how do you like it? Hard or soft? Most guys like them just like I like them. All right. I've seen you do. Obviously, I would leave my oven on, my grill. Guy's ball comes up. First thing, look what I'm doing. It's easy to do this in prison. Because I'm just going to put this food in and I'm doing it. I'm just putting my food right there. Oh, now look at this. Now, some people might want to salt it a little. Add a little pepper. Right. Nick, come on around. Come on, Nick. Can't eat. Come on, Nick. For real, get over here. I want you to try it, Nick. Come on. Get over here. That's it. Eat. Come on, you work here. You look up. I'm going to take the, pe the pepper away. Oh, my God. Marlo with never had an iron at each work. Well, no pitch yet. Be honest. Be honest. What do you mean no? It's like patches. The fuck at Sorry. Don't, 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 don't fuck with me. Tell me you don't like that. Look, look. I don't like it. No, I'm good. Come on, one more. One more. Come on. You want one of the battles, you love it. And See, I can do it one after this. I'm on out. We on scared straight set. Yo, eat up and steak here. Eat this. I get to call. Hey, let me tell you something, everybody. Wow, you are talking about the best breakfast I had in a long time, and I'm not kidding. That to me is one of the breakfasts. One of my good friend, Rude Jew, Jude Angelini, my good friend. When you come back, you're eating my meal. Because he will eat. Uh, he's a funny guy. I love that guy. All right, everybody. I hope you like the meal. This is Breakfast with Larry Lawton on an iron. I hope you enjoy our show. If you do, please pass it on. If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. I don't ask that often. Hit that button. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you have a great day. Please, please make good choices. As I don't want to see you go into a place that you have to do this. Go to your local diner. Support them. And they say, Larry Law and Sim. Because that is how to make it. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. See you next time.